Hello friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 42 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about map transformations in PySpark. So there is something called map function that will help you to perform the transformations but on the RDD objects. In our previous video, we have discussed about what is RDD and also how to convert a RDD into data frame. So please watch this video before watching this video. Why? Because that video is like a prerequisite for this video. If you don't watch it, then you will not get it actually. So I strongly encourage you to watch that and then watch this video. So here we are going to discuss about map transformation which is available only for the RDD, uh, RDD objects. On top of data frames, there is no map function. And also we are going to see a practical example how we can use this map function uh, to create a new column or to alter a column whatever right. So we want to apply some kind of a transformation then how to do that using this map function that is what we are going to discuss. So basically this will apply a lambda function on top of the every element. As I said before RDD object is nothing but like a list in python right in our previous video. So list will be like that right so list will be list of items. Let's say here you have item 1 then we have item 2 so items will be comma separated right. So let's say you have two items in a list then what you can do it will take every item and perform some kind of function or a logic on top of it whatever you written. So when I practically explain that you will make more sense of it. If you see here here we have a list of tuples from here to here one item from here to here another item and what we are doing so we created a rdd object using that list and as i said rdd object is nothing but like a list in python only so imagine it is a, like a list now what i am doing i am using a map function on top of that rdd object and then here i am writing a lambda function so whenever you use lambda function that means you are writing a function within that uh, same signature so here x indicates every element from the rdd object so in the first iteration it will take this first element in the second iteration it will take the second element and uh, that item so this item is nothing but like a tuple here and then what we are doing from this item we are taking the zero index item and first index item so that means from this tuple we are taking zeroth index this one first index this one and we are concatenating both of them and finally creating a another new tuple uh, Okay, so when I practically explain this, you will make sense. Let me do this. So basically, if you imagine this is like a first name and this is like a last name, then we are generating a new tuple, the third item in the tuple, which will be like a full name, concatenation of this first name and last name. So let me practically show you that. Let's go to browser. Here I have already opened my Databricks workspace. And here, let's try to create a new notebook. Let me name it like a map notebook. Python is a default language, cluster already selected. So here, let's try to create a variable called data. So firstly, let's try to delete all these cells here. One cell is enough for us for now. And here, data equals to, I am creating a list of tuples here. First item is a tuple in which, let's say this is like a first name. Then let's say this is like a last name. So this is like one tuple then let's add second item in a list as a second tuple and here first name is this one and last name is this one let's say so this is a complete list right so using spark dot spark context dot there is something called parallelize function using which we can create a uh, this one what we call rdd object so let's take this as a rdd object okay and then here let's try to print this rdd object for now for our better understanding to print that we can use a collect function so let me hit shift enter to execute this code and if you closely observe now my rdd object got printed it, it is a list first item is this one second item is this one and inside this first item this is first item again and this is second item okay so so far it is clear so now what i want is i want to gen so in this every item this is zeroth index item this is first index item i want to have another item added in every tuple which will be like a full name let's say this is first name let's say this is last name then full name will be concatenation of these two values so how to do that so what i will be doing is on top of this rdd object there is something called map function in this map function 
I can write a lambda function. So lambda of x, x will point to every item in a RDD. That means in the first iteration, it will point to this item. In the second iteration, it will point to this item. Okay. It will point every item. And then whatever you write it here after this colon, thus that logic will be uh, uh, executed. Okay. So what I will be doing it here is, what I will be writing a code here is, x, uh, x after that x, I want to generate a new tuple. And if you see or in the existing tuple, I want to concatenate a another value which will be concatenation of this first name and last name. So how to do that? If you see this tuples article, even if you see my Python tuples video, you know that. So let's say if you want to append a tuple, let's say this is already a tuple. This tuple is already a tuple which, will, which was created here and you want to append another value. Then what you have to do it is, you have to do it by using this creating a new tuple and you have to add this comma. So if this is not making sense, let me practically show you that. So here there is no example maybe. So let me practically show you. So if you want to create a tuple, you need to make sure use these brackets and put one comma at the end if you want to create a tuple of single item. So what I will be doing, I will be creating a tuple of single item like this for the full name and then that will be appended with the existing tuple. So let's say this is like an existing tuple, x is an existing tuple plus then here I need to append a new tuple which will be full name. So new tuple, right? So new tuple like this and how to get a full name? Full name will be like x of 0, x indicates this entire element. So x of 0 plus x of 1. So x of 0 plus then use one space here maybe because between first name and last name I want to use a space. Okay, then again x of 1. So now if you see from here to here it will generate a full name and I am wrapping this in a uh, brackets. This will not enough to make it as a tuple. To make this as a tuple, you need to add a comma also at the last. So what I will be doing it here is, after that I will be adding a comma here. So this entire tuple which contains full name will get appended with the ex existing tuple which contains first name and last name and that final tuple will be returned back. So this entire thing will actually create a new RDD object. As I said in our previous video, RDD objects are immutable. So now finally, let's try to print RDD of RDD1 of collect function. Okay. So let's use this. Let me hit shift enter to execute this code. Now if you see, I will be getting, see in the first item, in the first tuple, I have first name, last name and the full name as well. Same thing goes here also. So this is how the map function will be useful. You can apply this on top of data frames as well, but we have to tweak a little bit. We have to convert data frame into RDD object. So let's say this is a data. Now here, let's try to use park dot create data frame function to create a data frame. And let's give column names. So first name, then second column name is last name. Okay. So this entire thing will create a data frame. So let's try to save it here. And then finally, let's try to use this data frame dot show function to show the data frame. So let me hit shift enter to execute this code and I should be seeing my data frame. So once the data frame is ready, see data frame is ready. Now I want to do the same thing what I did before here. So for that what I should do, take this data frame and get and generate a RDD from it using this dot RDD property and on top of this RDD there is a map function and to the map function the same code lambda take every element append it with the, append it with the existing tuple. So like this I can do the same thing. So this entire thing will generate me a new RDD. So let's say RDD1 or RDD1 equals to this one. Then finally from this RDD1 I want to generate a new data frame using this two data frame function which I explained before. And here I will be supplying a schema for since it is a data frame I want to have a column names as well. So first name is the first column then last name is the second column then full name is the last column. So this entire thing will create a data frame. So let's try to store it in a df1 and then finally let's try to use df1 dot show function and let me hit shift enter to execute this code. So now I will be able to see a new column generated which actually came from the RDD, right? We tried to use this lambda function to iterate over every element and then perform our transformation and then finally convert this RDD back into a data frame. So even like this we can do. Or another thing is whether we need to write this code every time here 
no you can write it as a separate function and call that function here so let me practically explain what i mean so here i am copy pasting the code so here what i will be doing it here is i let's try to create a function here called define maybe full name is a function it will take one tuple as an element x is the variable that indicates the tuple and inside of it what it will do it will try to execute this logic only so whatever the logic you see here it will simply return that particular element only so now here at what i can do i can remove this entire thing and i can simply call this first name function and pass my x variable to it so now if i execute by hitting the shift enter still it will work and i will be able to see my full name column right so i wrapped the logic into a separate function and i am using it there so i hope you got an idea how this map function works now so if this feels like a little confusing please watch this video two three times to get a better idea so i know because it feels a little confusing so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much